Mm -hmm. In December 1977, in a clinic in Vienna, was the first use of a device which restores hearing, the cochlear implant. Uh -huh. Since then, many hearing impaired people on all continents can hear. Mm. <laughs> I'm the Crocodile Smiley, and I wish that all children around the world can hear in every country. Three continents and a project running for more than five years in which hundreds of children participate. Previously, they did not hear. Today, they compete in singing, dancing, and other skills. A truly unique form of superstar competition in the world. <laughs> Asia, the Middle East, and Africa. Many at first glance, completely different regions. And do you know what unites them? Singing and dancing. Children, cochlear implant users, demonstrated their skills here. Not only are these formerly hearing impaired children able to speak and understand others, they also sing, and really well. For example, in the superstar competition. That is a unique superstar. Three regions and a project running for more than five years in which hundreds of children participate also, thanks to the cochlear implant, these children became superstars. Because of these children have a cochlear implant and they develop their skills, the listening skills, communication and music skills that way that they even can participate in competitions like a cochlear implant superstar, it's something very unique and it just gives the children the chance to realize how wonderful they are and what cochlear implants can really do for hearing impaired children. started the, the competition uh, cochlear implant superstar for the children with cochlear implants to show the, the benefits of cochlear implants to show the world that the children can really hear with this uh, fantastic device and uh, they can sing and they can dance and uh, and it can go around the universe really around the globe Agarim has had a cochlear implant since the age of 18. Thanks to this, she can sing and live a normal, full-fledged life. She lives in Almaty and is a professional singer, but also a great therapist for hearing impaired children. She helped with the superstar competition of children, cochlear implant users, as a moderator. It's incredible what cochlear implant devices have made possible. We called Agarim from Prague to Almaty. Так, всем привет, меня зовут Айгерин, тут вам, а, вот, я сделала кофлярную имплантацию в 18 лет, 
Вот в 17 лет я начала слышать весь мир и хорошо слышу. Вот, а в 17 лет как раз э, через год я выступила э, и выиграла лауреатом стала именно в Варшаве. Молодец, молодец. Thanks to the cochlear implant, people can not only return to mainstream society, they can look forward to a normal life and develop all their skills and potentials. They enjoy life just as much as their friends who have never had any hearing problems. Well, I don't want to highlight anybody specific because all children were fantastic and uh, they, were, uh, they were performing very well. But what I can recall really, there was one, one girl in Kazakhstan, for example, which was having a ballet performance. There was a little boy about six years old, which, uh, which was singing uh, some songs from the musicals. There were a bunch of children which were playing amazingly musical instruments. Uh, then in Jordan, we had the, the boy which was uh, reading Quran. Or in Russia, we have a deaf-blind teenager which can recite his own poems, which he wrote. 